Welcome back to Mr. Stewart's lessons for my next lesson in Google SketchUp. We've made a nice house if we followed the first few lessons and now what we're going to do is we're going to use the paint bucket to make it look like a real house. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to find my paint bucket tool which uh, applies the color and material and so I'm going to click on the paint bucket and this various choice of materials is going to come up. So in the materials we can pick colors, we can pick uh, what we want it to look like. What I'd like to do, I'm going to make it a brick house. So you see I'm going to click on the one that says brick and cladding and I'm going to pick a kind of brick that I like. I'm going to pick this one here which is the uh, brick rough dark but you could pick a different brick. It's up to you. And so I have my paint bucket and if I click on a particular surface it's going to cover it with that particular uh, texture. So I'm going to click all around the house. I'm going to put brick all around the house. So I'm going to click on here. I'll rotate around so I can see the other sides of the house. Go back to my paint bucket. Put my brick down. Put my brick down again. Come around here. And go back to my paint bucket. Put my brick down in here. So now we have a nice brick wall going all the way around the house. Next thing Oh, and let's uh, do the same thing for the chimney. Well, let's have a brick chimney. So I'm going to so click all my surfaces with the brick paint bucket. Now we have a brick house with a brick chimney. I want you to do it. Select, pause it, select your paint bucket, choose a kind of brick that you'd like to put on your house, and then uh, apply that to all your walls in the chimney. Okay, if you've done that, now you should have brick walls all around your house. Now what we're going to do is let's put a tile roof. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to look for the one that says roofing. There are different kinds of roof. I'm going to pick a certain kind of tile that I want. I think I'd like the roofing shingle. So I'm going to pick some roofing shingles here. The easiest way to do it is just click so I can see straight over the top of my house. I'll pick the roofing shingles here. You can click on you can just click on here and it'll go straight to the paint bucket. So I'll click here and you'll notice my shingles will now be applied to the roof. Now my roof, I have a brick house with shingles on the roof. Now it's starting to look like a real house, but there's still some areas we need to work on, such as the door. What we'd like to do is we'd like to make the door, let's, we'd like to make the door a certain, certain color. So let's pick a color for the door. I think I'd like, personally, I'd really like to have a nice blue door. So I'm going to scroll down to a nice color blue. This one looks nice to me, but you can pick a different one. I'm going to click on here. I'll click on the door, and I'll color it a nice light blue. And maybe I'll want the trim around the door to be a slightly darker blue to go with that. And since we want things to kind of match, I'm going to use that same darker blue color for the trim on all the windows. But just the trim because we're going to do something different for the windows themselves. We want to make them transparent. So I want you to do the same thing. I want you to uh, go to your door, select a nice color that you'd like to make your door, uh, and put it on the door, and then put it on the trim to all the windows. Okay, so if you've done that, now we, we've got to look at the uh, trim around the bottom of the house. So I'd like to make that, say, metal, like an aluminum color here, so an aluminum here. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to choose a metal and I'll pick uh, anodized aluminum. Again, you can pick a different one. So if I click on this, that's going to make a part of the trim that anodized aluminum color. So I'm going to come around and put it on every single one. Okay, so I'd like you to do it now. I'd like you to uh, 
select uh, metal and choose uh, aluminum, I mean a, a color, a color of metal you'd like to put on your trim and put that color on your trim. Okay, so now we have our steps. The steps really should be concrete, right, because that's what we want them to be. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep, keep, go here and I'll pick uh, um, a stone color here. I'll pick a kind of color um, and maybe I'll want them to be a granite stone color so I'll click there and then I'll put that on all my steps. I'll do that all around the steps. So now I have nice granite colored steps. So I'd like you to do the same thing. Apply the granite color to your steps as I just did. Okay, we have one last thing which is our windows. And really with our windows what we'd really like to be able to do is actually see inside the house because windows should be translucent. And luckily for us our windows are capable of doing that. We have one of our choices is translucent. And what I'll do is I'll pick a gray translucent glass here. You could pick a different one. So I'll click on translucent gray glass. All right now when I click on there what's going to happen is you're going to actually see here that I can see the other side of the house. I can see through the house which is what we want for a window. Nothing in there yet but don't worry next lesson we're going to put some furniture and stuff in this house. So I want you to try it. Go and select translucent and make your windows on one side translucent. Pause it and do that now. Okay, so you should now have translucent windows on one side of your house. I'm going to go and I'm going to make all my other windows translucent. Now we are starting to look like a real house. We can still add some more detail. Maybe I want to put some aluminum trim around the roof as well. So I'll put some aluminum trim around the house, around the roof here. And I want, might want to add some, make the sides of the roof another color like I might want to make it the same blue that I did the doors so I'll select that and I'll apply that here and here if you look now it looks like we have a real house here with transparent windows come back next time to my next lesson I'll show you how to put some furniture and stuff in the house and also we'll make something else that's missing from this door which is a doorknob see you next lesson